I use shellac flakes and mix with methylated spirits until it came to a solution like this. It takes a couple of hours to dissolve. This is a sample piece of canvas. Uh, actually, it's linen. And um, I've just drawn a couple of pieces of fruit just for fun. And uh, using charcoal, I have sprayed that with Oh, schminky uh, fixative yesterday it's, it's almost pretty good I, I might have missed a few parts but that's all right so I'm just going to experiment this is the first time I've done this so I'm just going to pour some of that on I've got a little bit of a squeegee container here so I'm just going to spread that out like that it off. It comes a point where it starts drying so rag. Hmm. So I'll just see how that goes as a background. Okay, half an hour later it's quite dry so I'm gonna have a go at putting some oil paint on this particular sample and see how it sticks. I'm using a, a day old um, uh, liquid medium. Now I'm trying to get a transparent look to the see how I can go with adding paint to this surface. Hmm, looking all right. Nice deep, it's giving a nice deep quality to that um, dark charcoal area, which is what I'm after. A little bit of warmth into that. Stick to the bit of yellow up here. Let's have a look. Okay, a bit of green to the pear. Yellow is a little bit, um, it's not as transparent as I would have liked. Now, I might just see how I go adding a bit of white onto this. I think it was supposed to be a tomato, but it's too dark. I want to try and pick it up, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'll just see. I'll bring it in a bit closer. just opaquing the colour on so it's looking quite thick. Hmm. Seems to stick quite well. Okay, let's get a bit of darkness back into that. Oh, actually, what I like to do now sometimes, just rub it off, see what happens. Oh, sorry. Rub back in. Beauty of oil paint. And acrylics, of course. And watercolour. Hmm. Dark, moody. I kind of like it. Here's a charcoal sketch um, that uh, I prepared earlier, in fact, a while ago. Um, just thought I'd add a bit more dark to it, just to show that there's more fresh charcoal. It's paper, and um, just, just darken it up. So this is going to be an experiment with the uh, shellac. Right. 
bit of fun. Might just put a little bit of shadow underneath there. Now, <clears throat> without any covering over that, I'm going to just um, put uh, shellac, which is in this bottle, made from the flakes mixed with methylated spirits left for a couple of hours and in fact I left this for a day but only because I had to. Um, I'm going to pour it on. Can you see it okay? Super generous, and then I might just tip it off. Good enough. Not sure if you can see that. It's really beautiful golden honey. I'm just copying this from Vincent Desiderio's video on YouTube. Oh, oh all over the place. Never mind, I forgot that paper. Okay, so there is the sketch locked in. I'll do one more and I'll do it with a brush. Going back through some old sketch pads. Okay, here's a nice big drawing of a girl who's a model. Looks like plenty of charcoal on her, and I'll just darken her up a bit more. Shadow areas, got the turning. Put some nipples in there. Because I'm in a hurry, I'll just smudge that off. Now, brush. I'm just going to try brushing it on. Mm, it's not a very good brush. Let me just see if I can get a better brush. Just to show you the previous one, where the actual, this is drying at the moment, and where I've got thick areas of, um, of the uh, shellac, it seems to be quite interestingly edging up. So one could use this as a part of the image. I rather like that.
interesting to watch them drying. This is so much lighter than that that's wet. This is half dry. Clean the brush, use the metho, don't use turps.